2024 will be called the Year of the Explosion in Yellowstone National Park. The spectacular Black Diamond Pool eruption was the most dramatic event of 2024 in Yellowstone National Park. Elsewhere, it was a fairly ordinary year with nearly 1,200 earthquakes. The 300-foot eruption of Steamboat Geyser and the increasingly hot Abyss Pool. Yellowstone National Park is an ever-changing landscape, and 2024 was defined by a spectacular eruption that marked one of the biggest changes scientists and visitors have seen in decades. Mike Poland, the scientist in charge of the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, said that 2024 is a year of hydrothermal eruptions. The Biscuit Basin eruption was certainly the most visible and dangerous event of the year, and it raised awareness of the dangers in Yellowstone. The Black Diamond Pool hydrothermal eruption on July 23rd may have been the most sensational event in Yellowstone last year, but there's a lot that happened and didn't happen in 2024. As scientists ponder the annual calendar changes, it's a reminder of what makes the park such a fascinating and exciting place to explore and learn about. The ever-changing activity is Yellowstone being Yellowstone, Poland said, adding that 2024 is a typical year in that regard. Black Diamond Pool's dramatic eruption in Biscuit Basin in July was determined to be a hydrothermal vent. Underground heat causes water to rapidly expand into steam, creating a tremendous amount of energy that sends large rocks and black water into the air. Officials said it was fortunate no one was hurt when the pool erupted, and Biscuit Basin has been closed since the July 23rd eruption, while the area is assessed to determine how to rebuild the pavement destroyed by the blast. Still, it has gotten a lot of attention from the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory. Poland said more monitoring equipment was installed at Biscuit Basin after the explosion. The equipment detected several smaller events including intense heat and a small wave that shot water and mud up to 30 feet into the air. The park is certainly interested in learning more about the activity at Biscuit Basin, he said. 
That's going to be the focus of the new equipment that we're going to put there, tracking that activity along with everything else that's going on in the park. Poland noted that Biscuit Basin wasn't the only site of a hydrothermal vent last year. Another eruption occurred at Porcelain Basin in Norris Geyser Basin on April 15th, The porcelain eruption was much smaller, leaving a 10-foot crater. No one witnessed it directly, but sensors installed by the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory in September 2023 detected it. Poland said the detection supports the installation of more sensors throughout the park for scientific discovery and visitor safety. The Black Diamond Pool explosion could have gone differently, Poland said. Fortunately, no one was hurt, but they could have been hurt if the conditions were a little bit different. We detected a smaller explosion at Norris, and that supports the monitoring network strategy that we're trying to build for the future. The reopening of the Black Diamond Pool boardwalk has not been announced. Ha ha ha!